Hello nieces, hello nephews, it's your Uncle Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel where we do unbiased price action analysis. Holy moly, donut shop. The the bears did it guys, the bears did it. The bears did it. Y'all check my last two videos. Uncle Charles talked about can the bears, I mean can the bulls go and back test that five, uh, 50 daily moving average. Can SPY backtest the 50 daily moving average? The answer was almost yes. You know, it came a few cents test, a shy of testing it, but the answer was almost yes. And then I, I talked about in yesterday's video, last night video, that the Bears must defend that 50 daily moving average. And the bearish follow through would have been to break down that 508 level guys look at here on the 15 minute chart this was incredible this yellow line right here let me change it to orange so you guys know what i'm talking about the orange line was the 508 level look at that broke down right there broke down right there where i put that that dark green line pointing at right there broke down 508 look at that never recaptured 508 there was no reason to be bullish never recaptured 508 we just broke down look at that beautiful move to the downside I told everybody in the Discord, I told all you guys yesterday in the YouTube video, we, if we break down 508, guys, we want to look to short. I talked about this in the Discord. I wrote it at 1043 AM, okay? Spy is compressing and after comes the expansion. All right, I put 508 to 510 is the range. Expansion should be huge, okay? <laughs> boy, oh boy. We break, all we had to do, there was no prediction involved, chat. No prediction involved. All we do is follow the price action. A lot of people, they want to predict. They want to know the future and all that happy stuff. You don't even need to know the future. All you need to know is the levels, the setups that I give you guys for free. And just trade it unbiasedly. Unbiasedly. Holy moly, guys. And I wrote that in the Discord. I said the expansion is going to be huge. We were uh, we were consolidating. Look here, we consolidated, guys. This is the compressing. This one is compressing the compression, right? We consolidate. We bait. Look like a barcode. We talked about this. Chart range was five hundred eight to five ten. All we needed to do was wait for the breakout of the range, and then after the compression comes the expansion. Boom! And I wrote that it was gonna be huge. Was it huge? I mean. A drop from breakdown of 508 all the way down here to hit 500 in the aftermarket. That's pretty good. If I was swing put, if I was swinging puts, I'd be feeling pretty good right now. I mean, anything could happen. But if you got in a good position, short the breakdown of 508, like I told everyone to, you you know you won't have to worry too much. Hopefully, you guys took most profits at 506 or 504.5, and any swings you're holding are just runners, okay? Because even if your runners go red. You'd still be overall green because you secured most profits already. Okay? That is level to level style trading with runners. You play at level to level with the majority of your position and then you let your runners do the heavy lifting. There's no guesswork. You're just reacting. All right? So, what's the plan now? I'm going to tell you guys something. This does not look bearish. Uh, this does not look bullish to me. When I look at this chart, it does not look bullish to me there's multiple charts right now i look at triple q you know it back tested that 20 it doesn't you know it doesn't look bullish to me tesla you know we had the gap up it looked like this profit take it was a very narrow gap up look like this profit taken now there's a lot of stuff like even nvda look like it wants to go back and test that the 20 and the 50 you know, so FOMC tomorrow, guys, FOMC tomorrow. So the market makers got us feeling bearish before FOMC. See, that's the that's the tricky part, because when you're trading level to level style, you should have, you know, been secure with your profits already. Maybe you'll have runners right now. OK, but. There's a lot of people, they want to predict and they're going to think FOMC is going to act a certain way. So we're going to go down more or it's going to go up. Someone's going to buy the dip. Nobody knows what's going to happen. I don't know. And I've been telling you guys for years that we don't need to know. Okay. And they got us feeling bearish.
before FOMC. What happens if it reverses tomorrow when Jay Powell speak and we head to the upside? Well, guess what? If you trade it sheep like a sheep, it don't matter because you already secured most profits. Does that make sense, guys? So you don't need to be right. You don't need to be wrong. All you need to do is make sure you trade and follow the price action. All right. Right now is at 501. The next critical support level is at 500, guys. It's a fib level and it's the 500 level. If it breaks down, guess what? This back test from the 50, this breakdown of the 20, this breakdown of my fib levels, it's going to get a lot more bearish. We're gonna, it's going to lead to more downside. The downtrend has been around since early April. The trend is still bearish, guys. If we would have recaptured that 50 daily moving average, I definitely would have favored more upside. But that's not the case. We broke down the 50, back tested the 50 as a resistant. That is bearish price action behavior. And you guys can see we got some bears follow, follow through. So will we get bears follow through tomorrow? If the answer is yes, the price action will break down 500. The price action will break down 498. And the price action will break down 495. Those are either your triggers to enter shorts or to keep holding on to your shorts. All right. From here, what what the bulls need to do from here, what the bulls need to do is not only bounce from support, but they need to recapture some lost levels. All right. Now, what's the main loss level that the bulls lost today? Well, we got a 503 resistant, but critical FIB level resistant is at 504.5. Recapturing that level would be a start for the bulls. And then we got the 20, which is around 508.4. You know, it's going to slope down. It's sloping down. It's probably going to move very close to my FIB level at 508. I need to see 508 recapture to put a back test of the 50 daily moving average to be possible. Okay? Why? Because, like I always tell you guys, not every false breakdown leads to a bottom. But every bottom started with a false breakdown setup. So even though the chart looks bearish right now, with FOMC tomorrow, anything could happen. And if, they're gonna, if the market makers are going to push this back to the upside, they must recapture 503, 504.5. 506 especially that 508 level and that's what i would switch to bullish at the very least to retest the 50 if the 50 is recaptured that's a hell of a false breakdown setup of a critical level and then i would favor more upside i trade based on the price action i trade based on the setups that the price action give me i play it level to level and then when i want if i want a home run move i don't chase it with my whole position Okay, I chase it with runners. I let my runners go chase it. Why? Because they're runners. That is what they do. All right, guys? I want us to make money. And if you guys want amazing price action analysis throughout the day, definitely join my Discord. Okay? It's going to be huge what's going to happen tomorrow with FOMC. All right, guys? And me and my Discord members, we are going to be ready for it so you got the plan for spy 500 we're going to down a lot lower 498 495 or lower okay as of right now it is looking bearish and for me to switch back to being bullish it's got to recapture 504.5 it's got to recapture that 20 dma at 508 it's got to clear that 50 unless spy does that guys this downtrend lower highs and lower lows you guys can see it this back test of the 50 it could be a lower high and if it is a lower high we could either one go back and retest the low the previous low which was april 19th low or the trend continues and we get that lower low y'all want to make money then follow the price action not your own little fragile little eagle all right and here is triple q back tested that 20 daily moving average and found rejection it even broke down the critical fib level that was at 427.5 that's loss what's the next critical support level uh 423 and 421.6 421.6 is a fib level if that level fails the trend continues at least possibly down to the previous low from april uh 19th which is all the way actually all the way down to 413 that's a possibility 
and there's also a possibility we go even lower than that depending on FOMC. Now, if we're going to be bullish, got to get that false breakdown set up. 424.5, 426, and 427.5 all must recapture when is the bottom in the bottom is in when we recapture a critical level and for me that's the 20 daily moving average it's got to recapture that all right where's the 20 at currently is around 431.6 i do have a fib level at 432 so we clear those that zone should be bullish for triple q otherwise it's looking bearish guys here's tesla uh then getting some profit taken here it cleared 191.3 yesterday treated that zone as a resistant today so that's that it's bearish price action behavior if that bearish price action behavior is going to continue tomorrow it needs to break down 180 to trigger puts go fill that gap well i got a fib level support at 172.2 but the gap is all the way at 168.7 is okay those are a possibility if that is not the market makers plan and they want to head back up then one they need to defend 180 at all costs and then two clear 182 uh excuse me clear 182 183.5 and 185 clear those levels to give us the trigger to enter calls and put 190 or higher back in play here's nvda since april 19 nvda rallied now it looks like it's in consolidation mode now if it's going to be bearish it's around 849.5 as of writing this okay the 20 is all the way up at 852.8 we're rounded to 853 and the 50 is at 856.6 ish to be bullish gotta recapture those daily moving average those dmas okay i don't really use moving averages like that but when it comes to the 20 and the 50 and the 200 that's what i use that's what i refer to and i use them as support and resistant levels just like i use supplies demand zone and fib levels all right overall though as long as below that 20 it is bearish it looked like we're gapping down it's not looking good okay um yeah next support is at 843 and 841.5 that's a fib level if those levels fail guys don't argue with the price action we are dropping a lot lower all right i can't get bullish unless we get back above the 50 and the 20 iwm iwm <laughs> couldn't hold that they recaptured the 20 couldn't hold it exhaustion gap whatever you want to call it false breakout we also broke down a fib level amazing 196.78 or we can round it to 197 that is the critical fib level as long as below break uh the breakdown stays intact bearish 195 breakdown 193.5 breakdown those are the next target but if they break down that's bearish fall through the trend continues to the downside possibly down to 191.3 ish or lower down to 190 i will only be bullish if we recapture a lost level 196.78 is a start and of course the 20 which is at 199 recapture those level and then maybe uncle would be bullish again here is apple strong rejection couldn't stay above that 50 daily moving average all right it broke down well it it broke down that fib level around 172 ish it closed around once just above 170 okay the 20 is at 169.6 it'll probably slope up a little bit tomorrow but overall if that is lost guys we're bearish next fib level is at 168.5 if that level fails that is bearish follow through apple is dropping down lower all right i'll trust the bounce if 172 and 173.5 gets recaptured that should also put apple back above the 50 for a potential relief rally to the upside amd well look at here we got a fib level 161.80 to the 162 zone we lost that level back in april 17th today we back tested it it are the bears ready to head back down well look at that gap down <laughs> it closed today at 158.3 it should release earnings okay and then they gap down people took profits okay so if there's more downside 146.3 and 145 must fail if those levels fail guys profit taking continues if anyone's gonna buy the dip the price action must reflect it that means 148 and 150 must recapture that would be a good well that would be a decent start all right to put higher targets in play 152 154 155.5 157 
and of course 158.5 all right here is amazon where did amazon close today wow that's a hell of a breakdown guys it broke down at 179 level with some strength with some strength all right it definitely reported earnings today possible profit taken not as bad old crazy reaction with the other stocks like a amd and stuff but overall it's still bearish because it broke down 179 so if it breaks down more support levels tomorrow what do we do when support levels get broken down we don't just stand there or sit there like a deer in a headlight we react we take action does that make sense so break down of 177 175 173 and 171.4 must break down if those levels fail we are heading down lower bearish can't get bullish unless we break back above 179 and i need to see 187 recapture to recapture that multi-year trend line all right it's also around with as a fib level netflix broke breaking down the mother candle all right breaking down the mother candle 553 that is resistant stay bearish as long as it's below 553 for me to favor a bounce I need to see 553 and 555 recaptured. Otherwise, I'm bearish. Next target, it's all the way at 545.7. All right, if that level's failed, that's bearish fall through. We're likely heading down below 540 again. All right, no longs unless we recapture 553 and 555. Microsoft going for that lower low like we spoke about the other day. If we break down 388.5, guys, it's going to get buck nasty. All right, especially against the bulls. Y'all going to cry. Just follow the price action, trade like a sheep, then you won't cry, okay? Um, yeah. If there's going to be a bounce, it's got to recapture some lost levels. Uh, the critical one's at 395.4, but before that, we got 392 and 394. But otherwise, if we can recapture 395.4 and 397, then I'd be bullish again. Otherwise, the trend is your friend, and right now is looking bearish. Breakdown of 388.5-ish uh, is that follow-through that the bears need. Google's still getting some profit taking. It's closing at, you know, all these higher highs from previous days, but it's still a lot of profit taking since earnings got released. 164.2 fails, more profit taking happening. 160.7 or lower in play, possibly to go fill the gap around 158. If the profit taking end, ends and the dip buys come in, they need to recapture 167 to indicate that to us that they're here to put 170, 174 or higher in play meta consolidating a bit still uh but it is gapping down a bit right now okay so if it breaks down 427 425 423 we are bearish big possibility we drop down to the 413 and 414 zone i'll trust the bounce only recapture uh 428 430 honestly i need to see a recapture 434.5 to to even be bullish because right now it just looks bearish i'm sorry it looks bearish. That's why we got FOMC tomorrow, guys. Got to be careful with this bearish and bullishness. Because right now, everything is looking bearish, guys. But with FOMC tomorrow, things can change on a snap of a finger. Okay? j Powell could walk outside with the purple tie and people will interpret it as it's bullish. And then the market makes it push it up. Okay? Price action is the shepherd. I know everything looks bearish right now, but don't get complacent. Don't act like uncle didn't tell you. All right? Here is BA. They try to bounce, but look like a dead cat bounce. It broke down 168 today. Follow through. If it breaks down 166 tomorrow, we'll likely drop into 163, 160, possibly down to 158.8. That would be bearish. I'll trust the bounce if we recapture 170.4 and 173. Those levels clear. I would favor more upside. All right, let's take a look at Bitcoin. Uh-oh. Yeah, it's finally starting to break down my triangle pattern. We still got an hour left on this candle. If we close below 61.5K, it, it's bullish. It's bearish. It's bearish. Loss of 59.5K would definitely be bearish. Follow through. Putting 57.5K or lower in play, guys. It's looking bearish for Bitcoin right now. They need to get above 61.6K and 63.8K to be bullish. All right? Look to react the market makers got us feeling bearish and the price action is showing bearish but be open-minded to any scenario because the price action is ever changing all right let's take a look at the dark pool levels once again 4.1 billion 
once again at my 510 level. I gave you guys these levels before I even showed on Dark Pool. Uncle getting no credit. But hey, now that the Dark Pool is showing this, maybe I'll get credit now. But there, 510, as long as below it, we are uh, bearish. Uh, but yeah, I mentioned to you guys about the 508 level and also the Dark Pool level at 510. I can't get bullets unless 508 and 510 is recaptured, guys. It's looking bearish. And the, the flows are bearish. 84%, 133,000 compared to calls. I don't know. It's looking bearish. Uh, who's going to get screwed over tomorrow? If the market makes is going to make it bullish, now's the time. I mean, there's a lot of people that's bearish. If they want to cause maximum pain, I would make it bullish tomorrow. I'm just saying, yeah, triple Q is bearish. But then again, it doesn't matter what I think. It matters what the price action is showing. Like I'm reporting to you guys unbiasedly. It is bearish. Okay, so we got NVD the full so that's bullish. That's bearish. AMD is bearish. Nothing for Apple, that's weird. Bullish for Amazon. Netflix is bearish. Google is bullish. Microsoft is bearish. Meta is bullish. BA is bearish. Beetle, bullish. Mara, nothing, and a coin. Bullish. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much. If you guys want some fire, intraday, accurate price action analysis and be part of a community of sheeps that actually could freaking trade, Definitely join my Discord. I would love to serve you guys at a greater level. Peace. Would you